Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about multiplication algorithm in computer organization and architecture. In this video, we have to discuss about hardware implementation for multiplication algorithm, flowchart for multiplication algorithm, and one example for multiplication algorithm. Before going to the hardware implementation, how normal multiplication can be done in the binary form? That can be discussed with one example. Suppose we want to multiply in uh, 23 with 19. 23 can be called as multiplicand and 19 can be called as multiplier. First, we have to convert the multiplicand and the multiplier into equivalent binary form. 23 binary equivalent is 1011. You already know that. 19 binary equivalent is 10011. Now, we have to perform the normal multiplication. We already know the normal multiplication. First, this entire thing can be multiplied with this bit 1. Then we are getting 10111. Next, this entire thing can be multiplied with this bit. Whatever the result we are getting, that result can be written after shifting one bit. So then we are getting 10111 after shifting one bit towards left. Next, this entire thing can be multiplied with this bit 0. So then we are getting 5 zeros that can be written after shifting one bit. Next one, this entire thing can be multiplied with this bit 0. Then we are getting 5 zeros. We have to return after shifting 1 bit towards left. Next one, this entire thing can be multiplied with 1. Then we are getting 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Here we have to write after shifting 1 bit. Now, we have to perform the normal addition operation. So, only in this column, only one is there. So, that we have to write one. In this column, one plus one. That is zero with carry one. Next, one plus one plus one. One plus one plus one is nothing but one with carry one. Here I am writing one. This is carry bit 1. Next one, in this column, only this one and carry bit 1. 1 plus 1, that is 0 with carry 1. Here I am writing. Next one, this column contains 1, 1, carry 1. So, 3 ones, 1 with carry 1. 1 with carry 1. Now, this column contains 2 ones and carry bit 1. 3 ones, 1 with carry 1, 1 with carry 1. Now, this column contains this one and carry 1. 1 plus 1, that is 0 with carry 1. Next, this column contains only a single one, that is 1. Next, this column contains only single one, that is 1. Okay. Now, what is the binary, what is the decimal equivalent of 11011101? That is 437 is the decimal equivalent of 11011101. In this way, we have to perform the normal multiplication with paper and pencil by a process of successive shift and add operations. What are the operations we have to perform? 
multiplication operation. That multiplication operation can be performed by a process of successive shift and add operation. Here we have to perform shift 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 operation. By a successive process of shift and add operation, we are getting the product of 23 and 19 is 437. Its binary equivalent is 11011011. How it can be performed in the computer? Okay. This is this process can be done only by using paper and pencil by a human. Okay, but how this multiplication can be done in the computer? What is the hardware implementation is required for performing this multiplication? So this is the hardware required for multiplication operation. Here we have to use uh, three registers. The first register is called as B register. In that B register, we have to store the multiplicand. Okay. And its sign bit is stored in BS register. This is a clip flop. It can store only one bit of information. Only it can store the sign bit value. So that sign bit value 0 indicates the positive. That sign bit value 1 indicates the negative value. So this is a clip flop or 1 bit register. It can store only 1 bit. Next one. Second register is called as Q register. This register is used for storing the multiplier. Okay. Multiplicand is stored in B register. Multiplier is stored in Q register. The sign bit of multiplier is stored in a clip flop or a 1 bit register called as QS. QS is used for storing the sign bit of the multiplier. BS is used for storing the sign bit of multiplicand. Next, the third register can be called as A register. This register can be called as accumulator register. This register is used for storing the intermediate result and storing the final result. And its sign bit is stored in a flip flop called as AS or a 1 bit register. So AS is used for storing the sign bit of A register. Next one, <laughs> sequence counter. Here the sequence counter is initialized with number of bits within the multiplier. How many number of bits are there in the multiplier? So that number of bits <coughs> are stored in the sequence counter. Sequence counter can initially set to the number of bits in the multiplier. The sequence counter is decremented by 1 whenever any partial product is generated. When the sequence counter reaches the zero value, we have to stop the processor. Then the final result is stored in the accumulator and the queue register. Next one. <coughs> Here the parallel adder is used for performing the addition operation between the content of the a register and B register. Okay. In the B register, we are storing the multiplicand. A register is initially set with the zeros. Whatever the content is there in the A register, that can be sent to the 
complementer and parallel adder whatever the content is there in the b register that can be send it to the complementer and parallel adder here in this case we do not use complementer only we have to use parallel adder in that parallel adder we have to use full adder to perform the addition operation between the content of a register and b register now the content of b register is available here the content of a register is available here the parallel adder can perform the addition operation after performing the addition operation whatever the result we are getting that result is stored in the a register if any output carry or our end around carry is generated that end around carry can be passed to the extended flip flop that is e initially e register can initialize it with zero initially the extended flip flop e is initialized with zero after performing the addition operation between a register and b register whatever the result we are getting that result can be passed to the a register if any output carry end around carry is generated that carry can be forward to the e register this is the how a process can be done next one qn is nothing but least significant bit of the multiplier okay qn represents the least significant bit of the multiplier that is stored in the q register okay this is the simple explanation of hardware requirement for performing the multiplication operation next we can go for the flowchart for multiplication operation and that can be explained with one example